chronic pain is FDA approved and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage, Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at Bliss. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective. And the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Burke's Furniture and Mattress, we believe in quality furniture for less. 
Come visit our large selection of furniture from handcrafted Amish bedroom and dining. Custom American-made sofas, love seats, sectionals, chairs, and recliners. We have a huge selection of mattresses, all American-made at discount prices. With two locations in Hackestown, we have something for everyone. No interest financing is available every day, so you can get exactly what you want. Burke's Furniture and Mattress. Name brand furniture for less. Third down to give. Montella cuts back up the middle, and he's over a oh. thousand yards, and he's off to the races. Up in the air, blocked down. Dumping in wide open net. Too easy right there. Holly Chapman, she'll take off from the wing. That one's good. Webb trying to get the pin. Here we go. And it goes. The pin is that would win it for Warren Hill. Great senior night ceremony here at Lindby Valley High School. A 63 save performance by Casey Connor, the Crimson. And he break his record. Kenty oh, Edwards wins it. First game of your conference schedule. So good, and we're all so pumped and just happy to look ahead tonight on more Sussex. All right, good afternoon and welcome to Westmore Central High School here in Chester, New Jersey. It is a gorgeous afternoon here on the Tuesday. My name is Zach Smolin here to bring you through all this boys lacrosse action between the 2-1 and one Chatham Cougars and the home side Wolfpack who are 0-2 to start the season before we get rolling. We would like to thank our good friends at ICS for giving you our game time temperature today. It is currently, oh my goodness, 76, woo, 76 degrees, a toasty 76 out here in Chester. Brought to you by ICS, keeping you cool when it's hot, warm when it's cold. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all your comfort needs. And, of course, this broadcast would not be made possible without our good friends at the Chatham Cougars Lacrosse Club. Amazing people over there. Chatham really starting to become the most televised team in high school boys hockey. And as they'll be out here today looking to extend their record up to hopefully 3-1 and one on the season. They're still ranked as our number 14 team here on our big state sports ranking going up against the unranked Westmore Central but I'll tell you what the Wolfpack and Rob Goodwin squad have really had a bit of a tough road to start the season they open up against Mountain Lakes and I'll tell you what they played that game pretty close they only lost 11 to 6 they stormed back at the very end scored three goals to Mountain Lakes is one but the deficit was just a little bit too much to handle there Derek Hedworth had a couple of goals Jake Garofalo had three points Luke Gauss though really struggled over in the face-offs, winning just 7-23. Mount Lake so good in the face-off circle with Jordan Hernando winning 14-22. of 22. Jake Janke was pretty good in that game as well. And then most recently against Gil St. Bernard's. Just a couple of days ago, Gil St. Bernard's a number 20 team for us. Mount Lakes is up there for us as well. Only losing 12-11. to 11, And again, a strong second half. Nine of those goals for the Wolfpack came in the second half of the game, including a hat trick from Jake Garofalo and another hat trick from Garrett Crisp but just not quite enough for the Wolfpack to storm through and get their first victory. Maybe they can do it today. They're going up against a Chatham team, reeling off a loss from another private school. This is actually the first public school they'll be playing this season as they lost to Seton Hall by a score of 9-6 to six just three days ago. Chatham with three assists from Charlie Lowe, a couple of goals from Kyle Gibney. But again, it was trouble with the faceoff. That spelled defeat for that game. Just three face-offs, one for Daniel O'Brien out of the 14 that he took. But Henry Davenport was great again, saving 50% of shots headed his way. And overall, I mean, this Chatham Cougar squad has, a, again, a wealth of talent led by J.P. Lagunovich wearing the number four. He's out there, committed to the University of Virginia. He's got five goals, six total points. Charlie Lowe has really been the X factor this season. The senior attackman's been playing that X position behind the net. And it's just been a golden distributor here for this Chatham squad. So, again, keep an eye on Lowe wearing the number 16. He's going to be playing that X spot for most of this contest. And he's just so good at using that field vision, finding everything around in that attacking zone and finding good opportunities. But it's going to be a little tough today going up against Jack Janke, who's got another year of lacrosse under his belt. As we'll look at our goaltending matchup real quick. Before we get rolling, Jake Janke has got 22 saves, 23 goals allowed in his two contests. 
overall. Westmore Central has allowed 11.5 goals per game, scoring 9.5. Chatham on the other side have scored 9 per game and have allowed 9.3 in three contests as the Cougars are anchored by Henry Davenport, who has more saves than goals allowed, 28 saves and 22 goals allowed as we're getting all set and ready to go. Once again, Zach Smolin hanging out with you. Sarah Trepp on the ones and twos. Matt McGarra is your eye in the sky here on Big State Sports. As, you know, some I haven't seen in a while. Officials wearing shorts out there at the midfield. I mean, you, you know, coming from hockey, coming from incredibly rough conditions last week. A lot of rain, a lot of wind. But, you know, the eclipse yesterday bringing away to some really nice weather. Supposed to get some rain a little bit later on in the week. But today, let's just enjoy the sunshine and some incredible boys lacrosse, which will get started in just a moment. We'll take a quick break. And when we come back, Chatham, Westmore Central, right here on Big State Sports. My family own company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980 and based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner that's right one of 30 winners out of 2600 master elite dealers nationwide our season pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project give us a call today for your free estimate was superior in almost every aspect. We worked with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse, and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through, from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling, getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. At Pasquarella Brothers, we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients, and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers, all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Patch Gorilla Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? It's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah. Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Starting line it's being announced out here at whoop, at Pete Piccarello Field here at Westmore Essential. Scoreboard is up over to our right. Sarah Trepp's got our scoreboard rolling just below. As you see, again, the Wolfpack 0-2. The story for them here today is they're a very talented team. They played two top 20 teams in the state and have dropped both of them. They're currently eighth in the Waterman Division, but it's so early in the season. And this is an important game against the Chatham Cougars. This is their third game in a row against a New Jersey top 20 ranked opponent. So let's see what they can do. As for Chatham, it's their first road game. It's their first opportunity to play against another public school. So we'll see how they match up against this Wolfpack squad who are very hungry for their first victory of the season. The Wolfpack will be going from right to left on your screen, wearing the white jerseys with the Carolina blue Numbers and letters on the front and back, white shorts, white helmets as well. Chatham Cougars out there in their deep sea navy blue. Chatham written across the front and modified cursive in white, matching some of their sleeves and other gear and the letters and numbers on the front and back with the white shorts as well, and or rather the blue shorts as well, and the deep sea navy blue helmets. And we're taking a look at who they'll have in the face-off area. It's going to be Luke Gauss. Gauss won 67% of draws last year. Also scored 15 goals and had 16 ground balls. And this year for Grouse, he's won 48%, 24 of 50. Stats, of course, according to NJ.com. And as for the Chatham Cougars, it's going to be, it looks like Colton Walsh going to take the draw today. Although, it, to, to me, it seems like they're... 
their face-off numbers are incomplete because there's no way that they've only taken eight face-offs this year. Their scoring and ground ball numbers look accurate to me, though. So we'll see how Chatham ends up doing. They won a ton of face-offs against Marin Catholic, although it was pretty 50-50 in that game. As I believe the number 18, I think his name was, what was his name, Matt Bailey? Yeah, over in California, just had a sensational day. So we're going to have a little national anthem action here for lacrosse. So we'll step aside for a second. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming <laughs> and bright stars to the perilous fight and the rampart we watch were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there Oh, say does that star-spangled <laughs> banner yet wave Oh, the land of the free and the home of the brave You know what? That might be the first time that I've ever witnessed a public address announcer singing the national anthem. That was certainly very interesting. And he had his own little spin on it, too. You know, was messing around a little bit with the notes. It was a very, very fun, very fluid rendition. As apparently, you know, we're out here in Chester, New Jersey, but we're shipping up to Boston as we get things started out here today at Westmore Central High School. Again, 0-2 are the Wolfpack. 2-1 and one are the Chatham Cougars as the faceoff is still being contested over there on top of the Wolfpack logo, and it is plucked up by Luke Gauss, who will enter the zone, take a quick shot and score. Well, it's called the fastest game on two feet for a reason. There goes Gauss blitzing ahead after winning the faceoff, and it's quickly one nothing. So again, just sheds the defenders behind him, uses his speed. Gauss finds a little space there from Davenport and is able to whip around and score. Luke Gauss' his fifth goal of the season after winning his 25th faceoff. And the Wolfpack showing early on that they mean business. Just nine seconds in. As here he goes again, Gauss. Chips it to the outside, Garofalo. Very dangerous, Garofalo. Going on over to that X position. Now Garrett Crisp also plays on the football team. Crisp had 73 points last season, including 39 goals. As facilitating the offense now will be Derek Hedworth. Hedworth is senior. Crashing in, cradling over on the right-hand side. Now back behind the net. As the Wolfpack have had all the possession so far in the first few minutes of, or rather, few seconds of action as Davenport, though, able to pick up a save right there. So Davenport makes up for that quick goal, is able to stop one. And again, Davenport has a over 50%. I believe he's 56% in terms of a save percentage. Very good as the stick knocked away from Lagunovich. Beautiful poke check, but recovered quickly by Lachlan Mahoney, who snaps it right back up. The possession is being given right back over to the Wolfpack. So for a brief moment, Chatham had the ball, but here comes Westmore Central. So solid goal by Gauss. And again, adding to those numbers, he's now tied for first with Jake Garofalo with fifth on the team. It's fifth goal, I should say. Challenge on defense from Joey Lovato up top. Another slinging shot, and this one will get ricocheted away out of play. First one to it. Once again, was Garofalo back there at X. Going to be a little difficult to read these Westmore Central numbers with the bright blue on the backs of the white jerseys, but we'll do the best we can. So once again, Lovato hitting his mark. Forcing his man over to the outside of the crease, and they force it right back up top. Over to the edge of the attacking zone. Little spin around Crisp. And he shoots again and scores. Or no, Davenport had it. Pardon me, a little tough to see. Davenport with another big time saying, you know what, those are the types of saves he'll make. 
as they'll be on shots on plays where you think for sure the ball's going in. As Chatham really just struggling to control the ball at all early on in this game. First two minutes, they've had about maybe five seconds of possession. This is a team that's finished very strong so far in their handful of contests. They take another shot that goes wide and it'll bounce on over to the corner with a couple of players that are resting after their track practice. And Chatham can immediately call a timeout. Yeah, I mean, if you're Coach Scarpello, you really can't like what you're seeing so far. Chatham just getting dominated, having a really rough time hanging on to the ball and getting forced into some rough passes. I know this is their first game away from the friendly confines of Cougar Field, but certainly have been very uncomfortable in this early going in the Wolfpack's home opener. It's one to nothing with Luke Grouse, or Gauss scoring his first goal. He has no assist this season as an attacking midfielder, but he's been absolutely sensational now in the faceoff circle, winning just under 40, or rather, just under 50% of faceoffs. Or actually, now it should be over, or exactly 50. I think he's won 26 of 52. And he's won both in this contest. Davenport making a couple of saves over for Chatham. And, you know, they're going to need a little bit more than that defensive backbone to be on their game here today as... Again, you know, we're about three minutes into this contest. The Cougars have barely had the ball, and they have not gotten the ball past midfield. So it looks like we got, you know, two different, or really three different groups of timeouts. We've got a timeout, you know, amongst the players that are on the field for Westmore Central. Then we've got another one over at midfield, and then the Cougars will have their own little conglomeration off to the side. All right, apparently something on the field is not where it's supposed to be located over on the Chatham attacking zone, but Volunteer is alerting an official, and he's going to go fix it. Oh, there it is. It's that. I think it's a pylon. Yep, yeah, but it needs to be placed a little bit deeper. So possession here for the Wolfpack in their attacking zone. They fake the shot going around the side. Lachlan Mahoney again is just deadlocked on to his man as Davenport once again is able to get the knee down and put another save away. Henry Davenport has now three stops so far and has only allowed the one goal. But again, those four early shots on goal for the Wolfpack, not a good sign for the Chatham Cougars early on. Use some speed, get off to the side, and maybe getting a piece of it was Davenport, but once again, that'll trickle away. And the Wolfpack continuing their onslaught here in the first three and a half minutes of the contest. Right along the end, there's Lovato, and Lovato's head of the stick comes off, so things just not going right for the Cougars, although they are able to snap it up here. Long stick over on the defender of the number 19 of Thomas Hung. And Chatham in on the attack for the first time this game. Charlie Lowe again, nine assists this season. He's allowing, uh, averaging three per game. It's been simply electric as here comes Gibney. He's got six goals. Now up top for Cole Pulmeni. Off to the side, J.P. Lagunovich. His brother Nick's out there wearing the number five. A little bit further down low. Here's Pulmeni. Waits, two defenders in front. Back behind for Lowe. Using the full field vision from the X now. One in front. Off to the side, Lagunovich has nowhere to go. Brings it back up to the point. Now trailing in is Shep Boyd. He's got a sharp shot as well. Lagunovich waits, sidearm sling, and that one goes away. First one to the ball that time was low, though, so that shot not on goal. But Chatham going to be able to continue possession. Sharp defense from Bryce Camarata. He had 33 ground balls last year. As he gets hit from behind, here's an opportunity. Shot, score! Right through from Kyle Gibney, the sharpshooter from on high. And it's all tied up at one apiece in the early going. So is this one from low again? I think it was. As there's Charlie right on the bottom of your screen. Races ahead, uses a pick, and Charlie Lowe has assist number 10 on the season. And this now just his fourth game. 
And for Kyle Gibney, that is goal number seven on the young season. And that'll tie in with Cole Pulmbeni for the most on the team. They both have seven apiece. So we're all knotted up at one here. After Chatham was getting surely dominated by Westmore Central and really the first four or so minutes of this game starting to turn things around. And that tying goal is brought to you by Open Road Mazda of Morristown. First time car buyers, listen up. Open Road Mazda of Morristown has your back. Discover affordable, dependable vehicles for less than $15,000. Drive with confidence. Drive with Open Road Mazda of Morristown. So now we're in with another face-off. They've all gone to Westmore Central so far. And that trend's going to continue here. Excellent work from Luke Gauss. It's been the early MVP for this game as it's passed back all the way to the keeper, Janke. Now Janke ahead. Still in the defensive zone for Westmore Central. Now they blitz it through midfield. Another hustle ahead from Garrett Crisp. Using that running back speed that he has. There's a hand in the air. But they're in now, so they've all filed in. All six attackers are set up for Westmore Central. Trying to get some space. Edge sealed off by Alex McWilliams. Been a big defensive piece so far for this Chatham team. Doing a good job staying on his marks. Now Owen Irish tries to stay in front. Evades the pick. Forces over back towards X. Handled by the number three, Lachlan Mahoney. Working on defense. Now quick stop. Headworth went down nearly on one knee to take the shot and thought better of it. Good flip pass over to the right side. Pop to the middle. Jump shot. Bounces down and gets around Davenport. Ends up back behind the net. A good opportunity there for Westmore Central. Just a little bit off the mark. And they've done so well picking up some of these ground balls after the shots. Getting the rebounds. Now they get a left-handed look. Davenport way up in the air. And this one will go out of play. But Davenport has just been electric with the big cross so far. He's got four saves today on five shots on goal. Here the Wolfpack again. Swinging it through over by the near sideline. Now picking it up right back up top with Garrett Crisp. Crisp switches from left to right. Now spins around right side. Low shot and Davenport kicks it away. Ground ball still recovered by Westmore Central. Davenport has just been unbelievable so far. But now it's up to his defense to pick up a ground ball or force a turnover. Shot from point blank. Three Cougars in front of the ball. Still down on the ground. Battling for it. They're looking for a clamp play there from Davenport, who's finally able to scoop it up. And he gets rid of the ball over off to his right side. Patrick Roskill will take it ahead before tripping down over by the 30-yard line. Sent up into the side for Gibney as Roskill will end up back. Lugunovic. Over to pull many. Now to Nick Lugunovic. Pass over to X for Lowe. Lowe, the key facilitator on his team. Now back over for Gibney. Up top, Shep Boyd. And Lugunovic is forced backwards into a tactical retreat back to the edge of the attacking zone. Lugunovic looking to worm his way around the number eight of Jackson Corkery. Another running back. For West, although Westmore Central football has a ton of running backs, they do run that wing T formation, so they have all sorts of ball carriers. Lagunovich to Lagunovich, sidearm feed, another stop. First one of the game here for Jenke. So Jenke able to get that one down as they battle for the ball over by midfield that's going to stay Cougar possession. Right ahead, Cole Pulmeni. Nick Lagunovich already has a couple of goals to start off his varsity career here as a freshman. Looking from up top, pull many. He's got seven on the year. Back for low and his 10 assists. Under four minutes left to play here in the first quarter. As they feed over to the middle a little too wide. And it's going to go the other way as waiting in front was Bryce Camerata. So a turnover for Chatham. Empty possession, but it's intercepted. As they race ahead with Remy Varen 
He had an assist in the game against Marine Catholic and comes up with a big time interception, a turnover for the Cougars. Pop behind for low. Low waits, delivers, Lagunovic to Lagunovic. Now for Manita. Manita, solid score from up top, also knows how to swing it. Gets it back for low, the 16, strafed in front by one defender, loses his footing, pops it right back up. Keeps possession, he's got a little bit of help. As Kyle Gibney was right there in support. Now up top, another shot, another save. And the rebound and ground ball is collected by Westmore Central, so despite Chatham's dominance, Couple of saves from Janky and a couple of turnovers. As again, we're in another feeling out process as that one to Boyd nearly went high. Gibney, low, waits, one around. Gibney, he's got some real estate in front, but opts to not crash ahead. As they give it to Paul Many again over towards the outside. Now on the far side, Lagunovic, Nick Lagunovic over to low. As they had Boyd cutting to the inside, not a lot of cuts to the inside so far for the Cougars. Early on, they're working that perimeter and trying to find some natural space, which they're just not really getting. Now run across to the middle. Over on the outside, popped over to Low. Low from X to Boyd. Up top, Gibney. Wines delivers, and the shot blocked in front, and that'll go out of play. Picked up by Low with seven ticks under two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Low going to try to take it himself. As they fill in behind the net with Manita. Manita taking over that X spot, sending it over to Low. Now Chatham with two players down by X. Before the cut in front, Manita. Gibney waits, fires, and scores. There we go. I wanted to wait a second because I missed one earlier. Thought it could have hit the side of the net. But Kyle Gibney is able to cash one in and scores his second goal of the contest, his eighth of the season. And Chatham with a 2-1 to one lead. And again, you know, it's the usual suspects here. Low finding Shep Boyd. And right up top, so Boyd is able to collect his third assist of the year. And finds himself on the scoreboard to give Chatham a 2-1 to one lead. They were down 1-0 to early. Now, while Westmore Central, as they win another draw here, they've won all of them so far. While Westmore Central are 0-2, I mean, they've only lost their games by a combined four goals and they were against two top 20 teams in the state of New Jersey, Mountain Lakes, which is just a legacy program. And then, of course, against Gil St. Bernard, who had a really nice run last year. So just above 60 seconds left. Let's see if the Wolfpack can tie things up. So they try to break away, but really good defense there from Owen Irish. Irish is sticking on him like scotch tape. Or I guess Irish tape in his case. As there's a stop there from Davenport. Slams it down. Sixth save of the afternoon for the number one. And the senior goaltender has been sensational keeping Chatham in this game. As we have a long looping pass connected ahead and give it to Lovato. Lovato an attacker listed as, but has really cut his teeth as a defensive, uh, defensive player this season. Now J.P. Lagunovic working inside, finds the lane, shoots, high score! J.P. Lagunovic showing us here at home with the University of Virginia season him as the commit goes in and cavalierly notches the third goal of the game. Just another feed over for the outside and watch Lagunovic just make some space there. It's a good pass from Paul Many. That's his second assist of the season, and now Chatham really starting to get their footing after an uncomfortable start to this game. The one thing they got to work on here, though, they have not been good at faceoffs as they put in Porter Vote now to try to pick things up. And now it's still won by Gauss. Gauss, I believe, is 5 for 5 this game in winning faceoffs. Gauss outside, up top, point blank shot, score! And a quick answer from Garrett Crisp. So Crisp with just 7.7 .7 seconds left gets his fifth goal of the year and a much needed goal for the Wolfpack as they cut the deficit down to one. So they get another run around just blitzing through the defense. 
that they send it from side to side and quick shot and score. Tough to see who had the assists on that goal again with the glare from the sunlight. But we do know it was Garrett Chris making it happen. So he's now got five on the season. Let's see if they can bolster in one more here. We saw how fast Gauss can break away after winning the faceoff. So Gauss down there, forces it back behind, scooped up by the Cougars. Racing ahead is Daniel O'Brien as he pops it up and with 4.8 seconds left. We've got a timeout for Chatham. So Chatham will go ahead and try to draw up the perfect play as we'll show you the perfect advertisement right here on Big State Sports. At Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. My room is so cold, my fish froze. Mine's so hot, my sneakers melted. Rooms with different temperatures? That means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy. At ICS, we'll install an energy-efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room. You could save money each month, and the price we quote is the price you'll pay. Get a quote today. See why we say ICS for HVAC. I see why. Pipework Services, providing quality plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical services, and insulation for 20 plus years. Our unwavering commitment to excellent service has earned us the trust of North and Central New Jersey communities. Call us today at 973-298-1961 to experience our dependable and caring expertise. All right, there's a little confusion up here with the clock, but we have it right, 4.8 seconds left. It was a Chatham Cougars timeout. So it, right now it just says 4.0. They should get the extra eight tenths of a second. As the scoreboard operator working diligently to make that the case. Honestly, they're almost better off just putting the five up there because it might as well be five seconds if it's that tough to get the fraction. They're going to start off with J.P. Lagunovich. on, I believe, Tyler Klein up there on defense. Swing to Nick Lagunovich. Going to have to get a shot off. Popped up. Quick little sidearm. Look, shot, and it's wide, and that'll close things out in quarter number one. So Chatham with three goals, J.P. Lagunovich and two from Kyle Gibney, and then goals from Garrett Crisp and Luke Gauss on the other side for Westmore Central. When we come back, quarter number two of Boys Lacrosse between the Cougars and the Wolfpack right after this on Big State Sports. Meet James Ultimo, your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. 
Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapies one-on-one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. All right, back here in quarter number two, Westmore Central and Chatham. This broadcast, of course, brought to you by the Chatham Lacrosse Program. So we're hanging out here, or, you know, let's let's read it word for word. It's brought to you by Chatham Cougars Lacrosse. Cougars doing a nice job here today despite not winning a single faceoff there. Or Oford, I believe over six in faceoffs to start things off. As Chatham now sending their third different player in there to try to win it here. It's Daniel O'Brien. But they've got themselves a lead here in the early going. As snap down, and what a game it's been for Luke Gow so far. He's been sensational. So still battling for this ball. O'Brien was the closest one to it. Now it's still a scramble for it. And it is going to continue to go the Wolfpack direction. The Wolfpack now going from left to right on your screen in white. And from right to left in blue are the Chatham Cougars. Quick cradle from Corkery. And now a drop off over to Tyler Wu. Wu is another football player. Did a nice job again as a back and a receiver. And Wu also had a spectacular season last year. 28 ground balls, 16 goals, and 17 assists. Right now he's got two goals and one assist on the young season in just a pair of games. Here in the second quarter, trying to add. Has a big burst of speed, goes back by X. No pick set. And right, so leaving Chris back there. Wu over to the far sideline. Now a little run from Gauss. Gauss sidearm sling, and that one goes a little wide. And the Wolfpack will pick it up again. So far, Westmore Central doing the same thing that they did in quarter number one, getting off to a solid start and controlling possession in the early going. I mean, when you've got a guy like Luke Gauss there over in the faceoff area, I mean, it's hard to not get off to a good start. Chris looks from side to side, gets it to Headworth. Now again, over along the end, they wait, deliver, and the shot goes wide yet again. That time it was Gals falling down about 15 yards away from the net. And they'll keep things rolling now, just about a minute into quarter number two. A very late goal with just under eight seconds left. Popped in by Garrett Crisp. Cut the deficit back down to one. Here's Crisp again, plowing towards the net. Now back for Wu. Up top, cutting forward. So give it off to the side from Headworth. Wu again, swarmed by a pair of defenders led by Paul Kuppenheimer, the, uh, the sophomore. And Kuppenheimer, the 42, has really done a nice job back there on defense down low. You know, just playing in the dirty areas for his team and slowing down some of the top scores. There's a shot, Davenport denies. Davenport's now got seven on nine shots that have come his way. Wolfpack will pick things right back up, though. Thomas Hung working on his man. Another shot goes low and ricochets away. Listen, you know, this game hasn't gone exactly how the Wolfpack's been hoping, but, I mean, in terms of just getting shots and dominating possession, it's been all... Rob Goodwin's team in the early going. So we go back over for Wu. Up towards the point. Right across for Corkery. Corkery with Hung in front. Gets it over to Crisp. Crisp with the defender off to his left side. Cutting things off. Another shot goes low. Davenport stops. Pops right back up inside the crease. As we do have a flag go in the air. So Chatham potentially going to have to play with a man down in a moment. So off the delay penalty, here comes Westmore Central. Pushing it right to the top, about 20 yards away from goal. 
Now another race in, quick twirl around, and sending it over to Hedworth. Hedworth with Pulmeni draped on him. Now Pulmeni, a couple of checks. He's going to pick things up over along the side, and well, let's see what this penalty is all about. And it looks like we've got a one minute for a slash. And I think it's against McWilliams. He was the last one to leave the field to play. That's a timeout going to be called by Rob Goodwin. And we've got our one minute man up for Westmore Central. And we'll take another timeout here on Big State Sports. On Lloyd Fitness, here's a little video to show you what we do here. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or business quote, visit us at AaronMizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. Maximum health physical. All right, we are back from the timeout. Coach Goodwin got a couple of words in with his Wolf Pack, and we'll see what they can make happen here with the man up here. So it was a slash. I think it was actually against Lachlan Mahoney. He's the player with the knee down over in that penalty box area. And now facilitating. Once again, is Gauss. Off to the side for Crisp to Gauss up top. His team forming a semicircle around the perimeter. Feeding it back towards X. Side to side, Crisp has some real estate. Sends it up top, off the cut, and the shot goes away. Looks like they're trying to challenge Davenport's left shoulder side. Or at least on that shot, but nothing doing there. It was just off its mark. Pat halfway through in the man up time. Over along the end, some poke check. Then some harassment over from Corkery. Shot, or rather pass, misses away. As a battle for it coming through, and spinning through was Kuppenheimer, and Chatham is awarded possession. So tenacious play from the long stick defender there from the number 42. A good job by Chatham, and this should kill off the rest of this penalty here, although it's going to be tough here. Davenport has the ball down on the ground. Picks it right back up. Still fighting through. No! Oh, what a recovery from Crisp, who's able to scoop it up, shoot it through, and a man-up goal coming down for Westmore Central. Wow, what a job by Crisp here. Davenport usually so short-handed. But you see it here. He picks it up, drops the ball down, and then just never really is comfortable with it ever again. So it falls back down again. Crisp vacuums it up and slings it home. And he'll tie the game up at three apiece. Yeah, Crisp, I mean, should be no surprise. He had 39 goals, 34 assists, and 44 ground balls last year. And that's a quick ground ball on the goal. So they score on the man up. And now they'll race right back in. Westmore Central now has seized the momentum away from Chatham, who had a wave of three goals over in the last quarter. Still plenty of time here, though, remaining in half number one. And again, the Wolfpack looking for their first win, so playing a little bit harder, although they've played against two very good teams, so both squads really battle-tested early on in the season. So, of course, they took on top 20 teams in Mount Lakes and Gil St. Bernard's. Chatham taking on Pope John, a very good squad. And then the number four team in the state of California, Marin Catholic, beat them down 10 to seven and then lost to Seton Hall, nine to six. Or uh, yes, nine to six, there we go. I was like, did I say the numbers in reverse, like tennis order? No, I didn't. So there we go, sending it to the number nine of Crisp. Crisp, 
with Lachlan locked on him. Off to the side. Looks again for a poke check as it's fed towards X. Over for Wu now. Wu with some speed. Circling around, looking for cuts. He does have an inside cut there from Mike Finlay. But not enough going from the number one, so they'll opt to hang on to the ball here instead of taking an Low percentage shot. Ball back down on the ground. Still flailing for it. And it's picked up by Wu. Finlay from Wu. Finlay trying to force his way inside. Two defenders on him. And Chatham will pick it up with Lachlan. And now Lachlan way up in the air yet again. This ball's going to bounce high and out of bounds. And Westmore Central with their aggressive play is going to pick the ball right back up. Even though I thought McWilliams was a little bit closer to it. Here's Finlay. Wu. Up top again, Crisp. Ducks down one side to the other part of me. That's Corkery. Crisp waiting up top. Corkery feeds. High pluck out of the air by Wu. Now Kuppenheimer waits on him. Now another one from Lachlan. Playing that up high perimeter defense. Now pinching back over towards the crease. Westmore Central trying to move the defense of the Cougars right now. But that middle is really clogged up. And with all that traffic, it's very difficult to make those inside cuts. So Chatham playing, you know, almost the kind of defense you'd see in particularly college basketball. Even though the three ball has been incorporated a lot more, just trying to force the offense back out to the perimeter and try to force some of those longer shots rather than punching them inside. Garofalo delivers it over. Now a little tuck inside. Look for the bounce shot. Goes up in the air and running over for it. Diving with the stick out in front, McWilliams. Or pardon me, not McWilliams. That was Carter Newman. And despite his best efforts, the Wolfpack will hang on. Chatham again just having a very difficult time getting any sort of possession in this game. Now, yes, they had a 3-1 lead at one point, but the Wolfpack have had the ball at the very least 65% of this game. Now another work ahead. Lachlan ties up. Did they thread it through? Oh, what a goal that time. In the tightest of windows, Garrett Crisp gets the hat trick goal. And it's now a 4-3 lead for the Wolfpack. And you can see it here again. Just faking to the left, ducking to the inside. And I don't know how Crisp found that window to get it around Davenport but makes it happen and the Wolfpack have their first lead since they were up one nothing. Chatham desperate to win the face off. And they do pick it up at the very end from Lagunovich. So JP Lagunovich gonna give Chatham really their first consistent offensive possession of the entire second quarter. And we know how steady this offense can be. Lagunovich again over on that left wing side. Over to Nick Lagunovich. Back behind for Lowe. Lowe. Finds Boyd. Back for Lagunovich. Pass goes a little wide. Boyd up top. Shot. Top shelf score. Punched in by Kyle. Or rather from Cole Pulmeni. He's got a second point in the game. And Chatham almost immediately tied up at four. Excellent ball movement again by the Cougars as Boyd is able to distribute it over to his right side. And I, I will say this, as well as Westmore Central has played offensively, they're really giving up a lot of space on that inside on defense. So when Chatham does have the ball, it's been a couple of quick passes and goals for them. So they haven't needed that deep possession to keep this game close. Still looking for the faceoff. Running back is Gauss, and he's got it, beating O'Brien. O'Brien trying to tangle him up as Gauss over along that far sideline with under five minutes left to go. We'll try to answer after the Cougar equalizer. They give it to Headworth, making some headway and then stopping. McWilliams standing in front to halt his progress. Now McWilliams racing off to the side. Trying to get his body in front. Pass to X. Here's Wu. 
on Kuppenheimer. Kuppenheimer has him all sorts of tangled up, really slowing down the speed to number 31. Let's pop back over to Crisp. 4.13 now left in the first half of action. Fake pass over to Finlay. Now Finlay looks to weave his cut to the inside as he's slowed over by Lovato. Back over on the outside, absorbing a hit there from Kuppenheimer. They get it back over to Crisp. Crisp already with a trio of goals. Jumps, fakes the shot, now poises to the outside, Finlay. Lovato pinched in. They look for the tight angle shot, nothing doing. And Davenport more than comes world to hang on to the ball this time. Now for Lovato, drops down, he scoops it right back up. Lovato to midfield, long pass McWilliams, complete. And in the attacking zone are the Cougars. Nick Lagunovic over to Lowe. Lowe looks again away to the outside. Now finding Gibney, who's got a couple of goals in this game. JP Lagunovic, he's added a score so far. Up top, pull many. And pull many gives to Gibney. Now back over for low, back and forth over to Gibney. Pull many, Lagunovic. Three minutes left in the half. Lagunovic running over to his right side. Now Gibney to low. It looked like they were going to try to feed it over to Nick Lagunovic, and now the ball bouncing away. And Chatham should be, no, it's going to go over off the turnover to Westmore Central. So, I mean, it looked like a slow, methodical offensive approach there from Christian Scarpello's squad, but then the giveaway, all tied up at four, might give the momentum right back to West Morris. Gauss with Irish on him. As now this will bounce out of bounds to give Chatham the ball. So a little bit of sloppiness coming from both sides as the final few minutes take off in this first half of play. We get a check on Roskill. Now he's able to grab it, send it over to Lagunovic. We've got a whistle, and I believe... They're saying that Chatham had already used all their timeouts in the half. I think they're going to give it to him. I don't know if they had used them all. I know we had a lot of timeouts called in the early going, but... All right, they are saying that Chatham does get that timeout, so that would be their final one. As they've got 140 seconds left in the half. We're all tied up at four. Chatham won the first quarter 3-2. to two. Well, What's more essential now with a pair of goals to Chatham's one? here in the later stages of the first half. And this is a West Morris team that has kind of dug themselves into holes to start off contests and then been able to turn things around at the end of the game. So, you know, if they get off to a good start such as this, they might be sitting pretty at the end of the contest. Now they call Charlie Lowe over to the outside. Entering is Shep Boyd. As Is this a man up situation? Actually, it's very hard to tell. It is. They do have a man up. So I think Chatham... That might have been them from them burning a timeout that they didn't have. So it is a man up spot here for Westmore Central. As it looks like Charlie Lowe is the man down. He'll be serving the penalty for his team. Now a quick spin around look and Shadow will be the first one to it. To recover it away. So here's Carter Newman. Davenport finds Newman. Chatham trying to kill off the remainder of this penalty. As the ball is slammed down, slashed away, and a big pick up there from Corkery. Now Corkery back over to the middle. From center, Lagunovic in pursuit. Little turnaround, throw up top. And Westmore is central, going to call a quick timeout with very limited amount of time left with their man up chance. So under 90 seconds left to go here in the first half. And a timeout on the field, a timeout on the broadcast on Big State Sports. 
Bitcoin practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patient's progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans, including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy, which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. We resume action here with Jackson Corkery. About 80 seconds left here in the half, tied up at four. And Westmore Central had their man up expire. So now this will trickle away. Chatham over by the boundary. Let's see if the, are the Cougars going to be the last to possess. It looks like that could very well be the case. As Chatham will pick it right back up. Here's Kyle Gibney. Gibney racing ahead. Finds low. Low behind the net for Nick Lagunovic. Let's see if he finds JP. He does. JP up to the point for Boyd. Boyd swings outside Gibney. Back for low. Got plenty of time. Chatham might be hanging on for the last shot as well. Lagunovic feathers it in. Low. With Camerata waiting in front. And now Lagunovic. To, uh, to Lagunovic. To Nick Lagunovic. I combined his first and last name for a second. Low, racing in, trying to create some space. J.P. Lagunovic, left-handed shot, way wide. And that'll end about a play, but Chatham will hang on with 25.2 left. Or at least that was the initial call. Now it looks like it's going the other way. All right, so let's see if Wes Morris can travel the length of the field and find one through. And enter the half of the lead. Nick Lagunovic, though, playing tough over by midfield. Long pass. Lifted up in the air. Chatham's going to pick things right back up. Ten seconds left. Fed ahead. Here comes a quick race. Another shot down low, and Chatham will pick it up as it goes out of bounds. Off two seconds to make something happen before halftime. Facilitated Lagunovic. Lagunovic pops it up. High in the air. Quick crank shot, and it's wide. So Wes Morris add a couple of goals to Chatham's one, and we enter halftime all tied at four. As we had a Cole Pulmeni goal this period and then a couple from Garrett Crisp, who's already completed the hat trick just halfway through this contest. When we come back, we have the second half of action between the home side of Westmore Central Wolfpack and the visiting Chatham Cougars after this break on Big State Sports. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf, serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. We specialize in roofing and siding. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. 
We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective, and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today. We'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks. So fast, it's worth the wait. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First-time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five-day money-back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. For years, it had been the same routine, working all night. Ah, <laughs> those beautiful faces. I wanted more for me for them, for our futures. There was this day that something changed, a simple moment of dress up. It opened my eyes. Take charge of your future and go big at CCM. For all of the perks that come with working here, I would say that the most valuable thing WIS offers is freedom. The freedom to make the most of your role, to really go beyond the job description, the freedom to think differently and be rewarded for it, and the freedom to show up as 100% who you are. At Burke's Furniture and Mattress, we believe in quality furniture for less. Come visit our large selection of furniture from handcrafted Amish bedroom and dining, custom American-made sofas, love seats, sectionals, chairs, and recliners. We have a huge selection of mattresses, all American made at discount prices. With two locations in Hackestown, we have something for everyone. No interest financing is available every day, so you can get exactly what you want. Burke's Furniture and Mattress. Name brand furniture for less. Hi, I'm Dan from George A. Keller & Sons. My family owned company has provided superior service to local homeowners since 1980. And based on the strength of our commitment to you and your positive reviews and feedback, we are now a GAF three-star President's Club winner. That's right, one of 30 winners out of 2,600 Master Elite dealers nationwide. Our seasoned pros provide the best service and quality products from beginning to end of your project. Give us a call today for your free estimate. Was superior in almost every aspect. We work with contractors for almost everything in the firehouse and Blue Nail really made us feel comfortable all the way through from the contract to pre-planning to scheduling getting the job done. We are thrilled that they were able to do the job for us. At Pasquarella Brothers we love creating great food for our customers. Everything is made daily using real fresh ingredients and you can taste the difference. We specialize in creating gluten-free options for our customers all prepared in a separate area so there's no cross-contamination. We also pride ourselves on providing unparalleled catering for events big and small. We love what we do. Stop into Pasquarella Brothers, you'll taste the difference. Go ahead, take a deep breath. Oh, nice, huh? That's some clean, fresh air at the perfect temperature. 
That is good. Who installed the system? ICS. They're the leaders in HVAC. They make the duct work at their own factory, so we even save some money. That's impressive. You recommend them? <laughs> it's ICS for HVAC. I see why. Ah! Hey, Lorraine, go get a big plastic bag. Take some air home with you. Stuber Insurance Agency, we work diligently to make sure you get the right insurance for you, your family, and your employees. Within our carefully selected group of financially sound insurance companies, our goal is to find you the best coverage at the most competitive prices. Visit us online to request a quote or make an appointment at 115 Mill Street in Hackettstown. so cold my fish froze mine's so hot my sneakers melted rooms with different temperatures that means your HVAC system is outdated and wasting energy at ICS we will install an energy efficient system that provides a constant flow of clean fresh air at the perfect temperature in every room you could save money each month and the price we quote is the price you'll pay get a quote today see why we say ICS for HVAC I see why Pipeworks Services, providing quality plumbing, heating, cooling, electrical services, and insulation for 20 plus years. Our unwavering commitment to excellent service has earned us the trust of North and Central New Jersey communities. Call us today at 973-298-1961 to experience our dependable and caring expertise. Meet James Ultimo. Your trusted licensed real estate professional at Exit Realty Connections in Hackettstown, New Jersey. With over 36 years of customer service excellence, James is the smart choice whether you're buying or selling. Your dream property journey starts with James Ultimo. Contact me today to turn your real estate dreams into reality. James Ultimo, 973-214-6448. Montella Inc. is a family-owned dumpster rental business located in Stanhope, New Jersey that's been around since 1984. We provide prompt, quality service at a reasonable price for our New Jersey customers, whom we consider our family. We don't just take out the trash. Montella Inc. is a full-service waste management company servicing demolition sites, construction projects, factory sites, shopping centers, commercial businesses, and homeowners. Call today at 973-927-2232. Do your glory days as a high school athlete feel far behind you? Are memories of being out there competing so clear that you can feel it? But then reality sets in and your stiff back, achy knees, and painful shoulders remind you that it's been years or even decades since you can move that way. Don't worry. The team at Better With Physical Therapies one-on-one -on -one customized care can help you feel and move better again. Their specialists will find the cause of what's slowing you down and build a plan that will help you realize that your glory days are still ahead of you. You can get better with Better With Physical Therapy located in the Madison YMCA. Request an appointment today at betterwithpt.com. Hey everyone, what's up? This is Sean from Sean Malloy Fitness. Here's a little video to show you what we do here. This game is brought to you by Aaron Mizzarelli of State Farm in Randolph. My licensed and experienced team members are here to serve you for all of your insurance and financial service needs in New Jersey and New York. We offer excellent customer service and our office is conveniently located in Randolph, New Jersey. For a free auto, home, life, or 
business quote, visit us at erinmizzarelli.com or call us at 973-389-9999. All right, back in action for a really exciting set. I mean, we, we kind of knew this was going to be a great game, right? Chatham, Westmore Central, a lot of fun. You know, regional rivals out here today. We're all tied up at four here. And our halftime temperature is brought to you by ICS, keeping you warm when it is cold and cool when it's hot outside. Go to ICSHVAC.com for all of your comfort needs. Of course, this game is brought to you by Chatham Cougars lacrosse but you know again 0-2 starts of the season not really indicative of the effort and the talent that Westmore Central have I mean today they've been money in the face off and they're sticking right with this again just like they do in their first two games they hung around with Mountain Lakes they hung around with Gil St. Bernard's and this team is known for having a burst of energy at the end of contest now they have a clean race ahead on Davenport they try to slip it through over his right shoulder but nothing doing as they miss wide of the net over by the post. So they tried to do what they began the, what really began the game with, which was just a quick shot by Gauss. Who, who again, has just been nothing short of sensational to start this game. And, I mean, it's, it's always hard to boil things down to, you know, it's a team sport, so you can't really always boil something down to one player. But the way that Gauss has played today, as there's a pump fake on the shot, now he goes over to the right side, flips it over for Corkery. Now Corkery feeds it away. But, the, you know, they've just been able to hold the ball for so long and to keep possession away from this offensive heavy Chatham Cougar squad has really made a huge difference. As now Lachlan Mahoney picks it up. Now Mahoney, though, lost control again. That's been another issue is, you know, they picked up some ground balls, but their inability to control it and get it out towards the midfield has been another problem for the Cougars. Now we work it with Headworth. Up from Crisp. And now they give it to Gauss. Gauss waits, left-handed shot, Devonport stop. And another big-time save for the senior. He's got nine stops on 13 shots on goal. It's the Wolfpack recover. And Wes Morris clear behind the net. Get it over to Gauss. Gauss waits, looks for the sidearm shot. Now still looking for daylight, nothing doing. Big shot, McWilliams got in the way. And that'll bounce out of bounds and once again be recovered by the home side. So first road game for Chatham, first home game for the Wolfpack. So we see a couple of substitutions filing in. Joey Lovato has entered the ferry for the Cougars. Ball dropped down, picked up. Oh, no, not by Davenport. Looked like he had him in the breadbasket for a second. Now a little twist around. McWilliams looking for it. Mahoney now battling, and it's picked back up again. Now a little turnaround, twirl shot, and nothing doing. A little no-look action as Garrett, uh, Garrett Crisp pirouetted in the sky but was unable to get it around the number one in Davenport. Now they give it again. Intercepted Mahoney, or rather tipped. And we give it to Lovato. Now Chatham hanging on with Lowe. Nick Lagunovich to JP. JP inside, hungry, takes the shot. Oh, man, you could see it from here, just even inside the mask, you know, the whites of his eyes as he saw that open space, but he's just been a little off the mark today in favor of some velocity. Lagunovich again. Frees to Manita. Low. Now back for Gibney. Gibney again in low spot. Lowe a little bit outside of his office. Lagunovich now switching wing sides. As Lowe finds Gibney again. Gibney, hard stop, trying to work his way around Camarada. Three minutes into the second half. No score. We're all tied up at four apiece. Chatham had three of their goals in the first quarter, just one sense. Punched outside. Lagunovich being double teamed. Somebody's open. 
So give it to Gibney, another dangerous shot. Medina is open over on the left side. As they draw the defenders, there's Medina again. Draws the defender in, sidearm shot from Nick Lagunovich, and it's taken away by Camarada. Third save by Jenke today. Now they give it ahead. Long charge at the net and then forced over to the outside by Newman. Now two players racing off over to the opposite side, over to the other zone. It looks like Camarada was racing away after making an excellent defensive effort and then sprinting over towards the sideline to get a breather. Over for Gauss. Again, still a tied contest. Ready a third of the way into the third quarter. Braces by one defender. Low shot. Davenport trickles to score. A little too much English on that one. And it just continued to roll away from Davenport. Another goal for Westmore Central. They're back up by one. And we can see it again. Breezing by one. And another big time shot and a score by the Wolfpack. So still waiting for confirmation on who scored the goal. Scores by number one, Michael Finlay. Oh, Finlay, there we go. So the sophomore, I believe that's his first career goal. And that would be. So big congratulations for him. So the sophomore able to make something happen. The number one falling down, taking the shot, and giving his team the lead against one of the better programs here in the entire state of New Jersey. Boyd off to the side. Is Chatham looking to answer? They've answered quickly when Westmore Central have taken leads in the past in this game. Swing it up from low to Lagunovich. JP over to Nick. Behind the net, low. Low. Sprays it again to Nick Lagunovich. Sidearm feed, and it goes wide. Now we'll take it again from low. Low. Gets a pick from Boyd. Gibney. Lagunovich. Waits. Back behind again for Boyd. Boyd sharing some space with Lowe as Chatham mixing up their offense here in the second half. Got two players down low. Charlie Lowe is wide open, though, over by X. Let's see if he can feed some attention. He's going to double team up top on Lagunovich. Now they get it over to Lowe, forcing some attention from the defense. There's Camarada waiting in front. Lowe works over to his right now to his left, trying to find a little bit more space over for Gibney. Now Lagunovich right towards the net. Another shot bounces low and a ricochet away. Chatham will pick it right back up. Now another shot. One time look score. Oh, what a feed from Boyd. Boyd with his third assist on the day as he's able to find the cutting pull many inside and we're all tied up now, five apiece. I mean, this is just how you draw it up here. So watch the number two standing in front of the net. He's going to cut and end up back behind, and he's going to get this drop. Or pardon me, that was rather from Lowe as the 22 cut in front. So Lowe was able to get the assist on that play. Starting things off as Boyd was that more of a decoy player looking for that drop pass. And instead, they were to find Cole Pullman. He cashes in, and now we're all tied up at five apiece with seven minutes left to go in the third quarter. Here's Gauss. Winning, well, yeah, you guessed it. Winning another faceoff. Oh, man. Being contested over there on top of the Wolfpack logo. And it is absorbing body checks left and right before finally being able to settle down and cradle the ball over around that 30-yard line. Now back for Garofalo. It's been a little quiet today. As he fakes dropping the ball, picks it right back up again, dodging the double team. Now back over by the maw of the Wolfpack logo. A feed for Crisp. Crisp ducks down. Beautiful spin move. Moves his way around one. Crisp now diving in. Trio of defenders. Pinches on top, though. 
As Wolfpack slowing things down. Up for Hedworth. Hedworth shot and way high. As Wu's going to recover and refacilitate this offense halfway through quarter number three. And that tying drive brought to you by Open Road Miles of Morristown, your trusted source for new and exciting rides. First time buyers explore their affordable used cars and hit the road in a Mazda that suits your every adventure. Visit the link below for more details. And of course, if you're liking what you're seeing, why not hit that subscribe button? Our hope is that you're liking our telecast of New Jersey's Classic Sports. It'll help us out by hitting that like and subscribe button and the notification bell. So you won't want to miss any of the, I mean, we got softball, the cross, track, the whole nine yards really coming at you. Baseball. And what's poised to be another amazing spring season of high school sports here in the Garden State. Here's Finlay. Finlay dances around one. Now he's got real estate in front. Finlay now, though, has another in front. And a quick little underhanded pass shovels it to Wu. Now they exchange positions. Here's Wu again. Back towards the top, forced outside. For Newman. Newman on Garfalo. And forces Garfalo about 30 yards away from his starting position. Now Garfalo pops one over to his right side. Finds Hedworth. Hedworth crashing in right on that bounce shot. And Davenport stays in front again. Ten stops for Davenport. For a sensational 67% save percentage out here in today's game. Now another tuck down. Look around. Crisp goes wide. And the shots on goal and really just general shots. Heavily favoring Westmore, Westmore Central. But the Cougars have played some very good lockdown defense to force some suboptimal looks for the boys out there in white. Now they're going to challenge Davenport. Oh, they seek went in down low and score. Right away, Derek Hedworth and the 33 once again give the Wolfpack the lead. Starts with it, and we get a great pick right there by Gauss. And he won't get an assist in the score sheet, but he'll certainly get one over from his coaching staff. As that's a big time play for Derek Hedworth. And the Westmore Central Wolfpack now up six to five. Hedworth now has four goals on the season in three games. And once again, gaining possession out of the Wolfpack. Now here's Tyler Klein with some fresh legs. First time we've said his name today. Trying to cut inside on Lagunovich. And the midfielder slams the door shut. Now Lachlan Mahoney delivers a couple of checks, but Crisp is able to worm his way around him. Can't get around Lagunovich, though. Forced to get away, and Chatham's going to have to figure out a way to either win these face-offs or at least make the face-offs a little bit more difficult. Down low for Luke Gauss, because honestly, you know, it, it's a close game, but... If Chatham could win a little bit more possession, I mean, we saw what they could do back in quarter number one. They could really start to run away with things, but their lack of just being able to hang on to the ball for long periods of time has really come around to hurt them as this is a bounce pass that'll go high above the crossbar and out of bounds. Handled again by the Wolfpack from X. They double team. Now over to the perimeter. Kuppenheimer sticking on his man, forcing him down. Now Wu to X again. And a challenging check there from Pulmeni. Once again, Westmore Central on the outside. As long as they don't let that little slip in, Chatham have been really good at forcing some bad perimeter shots from the Wolfpack, but they've let them penetrate a little bit too often. So now we get another shot, bounce down, Davenport stop number 11. And now the ball still battling for it, punched up in the air, right by the boundary. 
And it should still go the direction of Westmore Central. So the Wolfpack up by one. With about two and a half minutes left here in quarter number three. They've got a pair of goals now, as well as Cole Pulmeni over on the other side for Chatham in this quarter. Mirroring the second quarter that only had three goals. Remember, at halftime, we were tied at four apiece. Westmore Central storming ahead, but have still never been up by more than one. Chatham's had the largest lead of the game. They're up three to one after the first quarter. Now another look. They try to slip off to the side, and this hits the crossbar and will bound away. And a good stop there by the backup netminder, Jean-Luc Olivier Marlin. Down low, Garofalo with Lagunovic sticking on him. Garofalo racing through over to the outside. Now feeds up top. Waits, Gauss, back and forth, a little pitch and catch. Now Finlay looking to swap positions. He's going to go a little bit further down low, switching with Wu, who's moved on from that X spot. And they pushed him over towards the wing as this shot's going to trickle wide. And Wes Morris once again will regather. And the Wolfpack, while they've got to be happy with their lead, they certainly cannot feel too, too comfortable. Oh, well, they've certainly won the possession game in this contest. I mean, even if, I feel like even if Chatham has the ball all of the fourth quarter, Westmore Central still would overall have it. Here's McWilliams. And the 12's going to run ahead, off to the side for Boyd. Chatham would love to tie this up before heading into the fourth quarter. Lowe finds Nick Lugunovic. Now back up top for Manita. And Manita finds the sharpshooter, Gibney. Outside again, Lowe, Lugunovic. Now waiting down low is Will Allen. We haven't seen too much of him out of here today. It looks like J.P. Lagunovich getting a bit of a breather. As Manita now. 30 seconds left in the quarter. Chatham looking to at least get a shot here. Boyd away. Gibney, Manita. Twisting things around. That was actually part of me. That was Lagunovich. Now Boyd. Sidearm look. What a shot blocked down by Camerata. And Camerata with some big time moves. He's played some lockdown defense as the senior number 11 has been sensational today. Chatham battling for it, low, connecting away. We've got a long heave, and that'll close things out. In quarter number two, Westmore Central's been steady, two goals per quarter. Chatham with only one. Let's see if the Cougars have a comeback in them as we head over to the final frame of action on Big State Sports. Individually owned practice with offices in Bud Lake and Long Valley, New Jersey. Our licensed therapists use hands-on manual therapy and are actively involved in our patients' progress. We use a collaborative team approach which benefits our patients and we accept most insurance plans including Medicare. We offer ARPWAVE Neurotherapy which accelerates healing 10 times faster, drastically decreases chronic pain, is FDA approved, and is covered by most insurance companies. Please visit us at MaximumHealthPT.com and regain the life you love. If you live in Andover, Blairstown, Byram, Frankfurt, Franklin, Frieden, Freelingheisen, Green, Hampton, Hardwick, Hope, Knowlton, Lafayette, Newton, Sparta, Stillwater, Sussex, and Wantage. Planet Networks is building high-speed fiber in your neighborhood. Visit GetPlanetFiber.com today to learn more. I enjoy helping nonprofits achieve their goals and really accomplish their mission, namely by nurturing my relationship 
with them, their staff, their donors, their volunteers, and their board members. I think the key to being trusted is really transparency. What I've seen time and time again is that when you give anything the right conditions, the support, the autonomy, trust, your full attention, it will thrive. This is as true for my clients and for my colleagues as it is for myself here at WIS. Athletic Fields of America in Montville, New Jersey has become an industry leader in synthetic turf. Serving the greater New York, New Jersey, and Eastern PA regions, we have delivered hundreds of both synthetic turf and natural grass sports fields for youth and recreational levels all the way up to the highest standards and requirements of the NCAA. Our goal with every project is to provide our customers with exceptional workmanship, extraordinary service, and professional integrity while constructing a superior product that you can enjoy for years to come. Visit athleticfieldsofamerica.com. All right, Zach Smolin back with you here at Westmore Central High School. A gorgeous matchup out here today on what's really been a fabulous day weather-wise. And Westmore Central up 6-5. to five. This game brought to you by Chatham Cougars Lacrosse as they try to sandwich Gauss. There's really been no slowing down the 13. He's got space. Left hand is shot. Davenport denies. Big save by Davenport. I mean, what hasn't he been able to do today? He's got 12 saves. He's saved 75% of shots that have come his way today. And has really bailed out his defense, who has had a tough time winning possession away. Now McWilliams, quick pass. Nick Lagunovich. Over for low. Camarada, again, it's just been a keystone on this defense. The number 11 has been battling low down low in that X position. So here's Charlie Lowe yet again, Camarada, wielding the stick in front. J.P. Lugunovich with a little tap dance cut in front of the net, nothing too dangerous. Boyd, Gibney, Lowe to Nick Lugunovich. Over to J.P. now, up by the point. As they go with their counterclockwise rotation. For Lowe again, again, just trying to move these pieces on defense. So get it over again for the 22 of Paul Many. Lagunovich, Pulmeni again with a little bit of real estate. Heaves it over to Gibney. Down by one are the Cougars. Still plenty of time left in the fourth quarter, but wanted to start things off with a bang here. Quick shot and a denial. Rebound picked up. Little shovel shot to the side by Boyd, and he misses just wide. Another save by Jenke, and he's got four so far today. As Lowe, struggling to pick it right back up, gets it to Boyd. Boyd seals it away. Nick Lagunovich able to snap it up from down low. Looking for a pick from JP. JP now swarmed by a pair of defenders. Nick Lagunovich, JP. Had some room on his left side and instead decides to go back towards center. Another sidearm shot, another one blocked away. Battle for the ground ball. Which way is it going to go? And it's going to stay in Chatham's direction. So the Cougars have done a nice job since that shot, you know, within the first 30 seconds of the quarter. Over by Westmore Central, after the save by Davenport, they've really held on to the ball well. And you get the feeling, though, that they kind of have to score on this possession. Because they honestly, they might not get the ball back the way that Westmore Central's played today. Nick Lagunovich to J.P. Lagunovich. The future Cavalier. Fires it back behind the net. Now back for J.P. over on his left-handed shooting side. Looks for it. Ducks down. Drops his shoulder. Moves over to the right side. Shoots. And that one's going to go away. And low again is the first one there when it goes out of bounds. Cougars trying to avoid dropping two in a row. Westmore Central trying to avoid dropping three in a row to start their season. So now we get a shot overhand, bounces off of Lowe's body, and he's unable to pick it up. Big time defensive play by Tyler Klein. So now the Wolfpack will try to jailbreak it out of the zone. The last time Chatham lost back-to-back -back games happened last May against Mountain Lakes in the semifinals of the Morris County Tournament. 
And then against Darian from Connecticut. And then for Westmore Central, trying to look for the last time they lost three in a row, as Nick Lukunovic will gather and give it over to Pulmeni. And last time Westmore Central lost three in a row, you gotta go back, it didn't even happen last year. It was all the way back in 2022, they lost to Pope John Del Barn and West Essex from April 19th to 26. That's the last time that their boys lacrosse program had a three game skid. Gibney, Lagunovich, Manita. Now Nick Lagunovich again. Trying to just tie things up now with the Cougars. They had a two goal lead in the first quarter. Watch that dwindle away. Westmore Central have had plenty of leads today, but none larger than just one goal. Back in the middle, quick shot saved by Janky. And now the rebound picked up by Boyd. Janky's got five stops now. Now Manita. Couldn't catch the defender down on one knee for a second. No JP Lagunovich in right now. But they've got plenty of other sharpshooters out there on the turf now. Here's Lowe, excellent distributor. He's gonna try to do it himself, he scores! Charlie Lowe, he's pass first except that time as he sneaks one by the netminder and ties it up at six. There's Manita. And then they cycle it around. Nick Lagunovic over from Gibney, gives it to Lowe. And that's Gibney's first assist of the season. He had eight goals before his first helper. It's now back on the faceoff, and based off history, Chatham's won most of the, or rather, Westmore Central's won most of these, and they do eventually pick it up with Kieran Jackson. But again, ultimately, Chatham able to recover possession. Now the Cougars with it, looking to get their first lead in quite some time. JP Lagunovich is back out there on the turf. They give it behind for Lowe, and now they're going to try to pay a little bit more attention to the number 16 back there. He's not just going to pass it, as we've seen his scoring touch. That is his fourth goal of the season. So Lagunovich gets it over to Boyd, back for Lowe. Lowe trying to juke himself around the defenders. But a great job there. Sealing things up as now it's back down on the ground, lifted up in the air, and Westmore is doing, desperately trying to at least pick it up there, but struggling to control it with the, uh, the freshman of uh, Brody Mansolino, and it's coughed right back up to the Cougars. So all of that, you know, steadiness and control that really defined this game for the Wolfpack starting to slip away a little bit. Ah, take two. Starting to slip away a little bit as here comes Lagunovic through the defenders. Quick shot. Oh, what a stop by Janky! Janky sealing up the five hole from a point blank look from JP Lagunovic. Now it's taken the other way. Here come the Wolf Pack. They take a shot on Davenport, and that's going to ring away. 13 saves for Davenport. A lot of chances for Chatham. So they do end up tying it up. Now we have just six minutes left in regulation. The ball dropped down, vacuumed in, Davenport recovers. And what a, uh, what a check that time by Lachlan Mahoney to slap that ball away and give Chatham the ball back. So Chatham again hanging on. Milking the clock down a little bit as well. They're tied up. No guarantee that they take the lead here though. So their priority has to be on scoring more than winding down the clock now. Gibney, Lagunovic with a man in front. So JV squad warming up in the background. 
Although they might they might get more prepared to play this game by watching this one than from warming up because there's been a master class so far from both of these sides on solid lacrosse. Here's Lowe again, swoops around and scores. Charlie Lowe does it again. Starts from X, twirls around and sneaks one past the netminder and Chatham once again have a one goal lead. And Chatham realizing, look, these cuts in front of the net aren't working. Why not just try to make something happen with Lowe? That assist is gonna go to Nick Lagunovich. Who's the last one to touch it beforehand? He's got himself an assist today, the freshman. And now the Cougars with 447 have gone back up top on the Wolfpack. Chatham with it again. Heaved up in the air. Turn around Finlay. And Finlay's gonna grab it and a timeout for Westmore Central. It's much needed. And we'll take a quick break here as well, right here on Big State Sports. That includes gutters, windows, doors, stone siding, decks, and painting. We also utilize new age technology like drones and 3D modeling. The drones keep our guys safe on the ground with an aerial perspective and the 3D modeling gives us exact measurements for a precise job scope. Give us a call today, we'll be happy to provide you with a complimentary drone inspection. We look forward to keeping your home and your family safe. At Planet Networks, our high-speed fiber is designed to be fast. Up to 300 times faster than cable, and up to 500 times faster than DSL. As fast as 10,000 megabits per second up and down, if you speak nerd. We're talking cheetah, bullet train, lightning strike, hummingbird, race car kind of fast. Planet Networks, so fast, it's worth the wait. Open Road Mazda of Morristown is your go-to for reliable and affordable vehicles. We offer a wide range of options to match your style and needs. First time buyers, discover the joy of buying with confidence with our five day money back guarantee. Your journey begins here at Open Road Mazda of Morristown. WIS gives me the freedom to be entrepreneurial, innovative. I feel supported to bring 100% of myself and my personality to work each and every day. I'm the CEO of WIS Family Office. I have two amazing children. I'm the daughter of French and Italian immigrants. Above all, I'm someone who derives strength and confidence from my ability to connect with others, and I strive to make a difference in their lives. All right, the tension is rising here in Chester, New Jersey, as the temperatures have from yesterday to today. Weird to say, it's it's hot, 73. We're going to have some rain the next couple of days, maybe let it out, and then the weekend it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. As we thank you so much for tuning in right here on Big State Sports, this broadcast brought to you by Chatham Cougars Lacrosse. Zach Smolin hanging out with you with Sarah Trupp as our producer, and, of course, Matt McGarry, your eye in the sky here in Chester. Mahoney trying to gobble things up as possession gained by the Cougars off the ground ball and they call themselves a timeout, but we'll stay here. So Chatham doing a nice job in this game. I mean, really flipping the script. They couldn't buy a possession in the second and third quarter. In the first quarter, they, they kind of dominated in that second half after Westmore Central hung onto the ball forever. And then, you know, the Wolfpack were just playing keep away for the most part all the way through, even with the shots that they couldn't convert on. Their defense was able to knock the ball away, pick up some ground balls on their own. And of course they've dominated in the faceoff today, but you know, despite losing in possession, I think losing in ground balls, and definitely losing in face-offs. The Cougars have made the most of their limited amount of time with the ball and have found themselves up 7-6 to six with 4.20 left to go. And a big reason why has got to be Henry Davenport. I mean, my goodness. What a game he's had out there today. He's got 13 saves on 19 shots. For the senior wearing the number one. Certainly making his parents, Stephen Ann, very proud.
And again, let's see if the Cougars can stop things short and bounce right back after a loss to Seton Hall and you know, try to hand the Wolfpack their first losing, or rather their first three game losing streak in two seasons. So we're off and rolling. The Cougars with the ball. They'll have it with just under four minutes and 20 seconds left. A second goal would be massive here for the Cougars if they can get one up. They've had a two-goal lead in this game. We'll see if they can restore it. Nick Lagunovich had an assist on the leading goal. There's Lowe, who's been on fire this game. Two goals, two assists for the number 16. Now sending it away, J.P. Lagunovich. Up top, Sutter steps, crashes through over on his left side, draws the double team. Now Nick Lagunovich back over for Lowe. Lowe drawing a defender. Back over for Nick, the number five, to J.P. Lagunovich again, faking right, going left, finding Nick, sidearm shot, sling score! The brotherly connection, J.P. to Nick Lagunovich makes it seven to five, or seven to eight to six. I can't do math, Sarah Trump. Although we do know that Chatham are up by two after a gorgeous goal from the number five. Wow, what an assist from JP and what a shot by Nick here. Plucks it out of the air and just feeds it off to the side on the run. As he just gets it through the goaltender and that far side post and the Chatham Cougars now with an eight to six lead. Yeah, it took me, I don't know, forever to figure out that, you know, seven plus one is eight. But we've got it now. Sarah's faster with the math than I am down there or on the scoreboard side. And now it's crunch time for Westmore Central. They're down by two again. Now they have turned things around and reconciled the two-goal deficit before, but they're going to have to work very quickly here. They have less than three and a half minutes left to go. So they funnel it over to the outside for Headworth. Headworth crashing in, trying to work himself around Irish, who slams it down. The ground ball is picked right back up by Finlay. Finlay in the middle, on his own, over to the right side. Shot up top, score! And what a game for the number one of Mike Finlay. He's got a goal and an assist now, and the deficit is cut back down to one. Double checking the goal here. So they were in a little bit of trouble there. As we get a turnaround shot. Yeah, it looks like the nine there, Garrett Crisp has his fourth goal. So it was announced as Headworth, but it was Crisp that took the shot and cashed in on it. It's Finlay with an assist, and now, once again, picked up by Westmore Central. They have 180 seconds left to tie this game. Grouse surveys his surroundings, gets it down low for Wu. It's a nail-biter, just like the Gil St. Bernard's game that they had just three days ago. As now they'll speed things around and get it back up top. Back up top, racing ahead, over towards the point. Chatham, trying with some tough defense from Mahoney. Now another long feed over to the opposite side as they cross field pass it. 2.18 left. Taking it from X, Wu, spin move. But locking him down there is Newman. And now Pulmeni working that X position. Speeding it through around, hits Davenport, lost the ball, can't find it. And finally clamps down on top. Davenport with another big time save. He's got 14. Busy day out here today as the ball kicked ahead. Here's Lagunovich. So we've got some more Boris Lacrosse coming at you tomorrow. We've got Bridgewater Raritan taking on Somerville and Morristown and Mendham on the girls' side. And those games will be at 4 o'clock and 4.30 here on Big State Sports. As we got a flag down, let's see who's headed away. 
Oh, this could be big trouble for Westmore Central if they got to play a man down for basically the majority of the remainder of this contest. As we're seeing two Wolfpack players heading back over towards the bench. And yeah, it is going to be a man up for the Cougars for one minute. So Chatham now with a man advantage, a goal advantage. And just 84 seconds left on the clock to try to hang on. And they've got possession. Boyd, pinching in Camarada. And what a big time defensive player the 11's been today. So get it over for Nick Lagunovic. JP. Back for Nick, pardon me. Handled by Lowe. Chatham can take their time here if they want to. They've got Manita up top, there we go. Over by the point, forced to his right. Now back to the middle, Boyd takes a shot, denied. Scooped right back up, Lagunovic, oh, look for the behind the back look and couldn't quite get it to go. Janky with his seventh save in a big spot and a timeout coming down for Westmore Central. Coming at the right time, there'll be a man down for 18 seconds. And let's see what kind of strategy Rob Goodwin can cook up here. So let's go over the rest of our broadcast schedule this week. We've got a ton of fun stuff going on here. Okay, tomorrow we've got Somerville at Bridgewater Raritan. And that'll be at 4 o'clock. That's boys lacrosse. At 4.30, girls lacrosse. We've got Morristown and Mendham for the first game. It's David Hashagen and Sal Marinello. And Dan Cleary's on the call for the second game. And then Thursday, we've got a trio of lacrosse games coming at you. Scotch Plainsfield at Chatham at 4.30. That's going to be David Hashagen and Sal Marinello. Hanover Park and Madison Baseball. That'll be myself and Jeremy Nielsen. And Dan Cleary and Gil Swenson will have Summit Del Barton boys lacrosse at 4.30. So we had a fantastic next couple of days coming up for you on Big State Sports. Cross, baseball, boys and girls lacrosse should mention. And let's see what comes up next for West Morris. So their next game is going to be at Randolph in just a couple of days at 4 o'clock. And then, of course, we mentioned Shadow. And their next game is going to be against Scotch Plains Fanwood. Oh, it said Plainsfield. No, that was wrong. Yeah, they're just going to take on Scotch Plains Fanwood. Another banger of a contest, and that'll be in two days as well. So just a hair under 42 seconds left. 17 seconds left on the man down. On Westmore Central side, it's knocked loose. Now down on the ground. Ball is still down, and now it's recovered. Now down again over at midfield. Here's Garrett Crisp racing ahead. Four seconds left, and they have now killed off the man up advantage. Let's see if they can tie it up. 20 seconds left. Finlay has got a couple of points today. Goal and an assist. Feeds it back behind. Newman trying to lock things down in front. Bounce shot. Davenport saves again. Henry Davenport, what a game he's had so far as Westmore Central's going to hang on to possession for five seconds. Got it again. Feed in front. A little bit of a collision shot. Score. It's good at triple zeros. Wow. Right shot, right time. Westmore is tired at eight. We're going to overtime. Look at this here. I didn't think they'd even have time to take the shot. Oh my goodness. And Mike Finlay gets it to go. It's just his second career varsity goal. And with no time left at the clock, we tie it at eight, we go to overtime. So Chatham had a two goal lead. And watches it go away 
as Westmore Central really earning their stripes here today. All right, so overtime procedures being gone over down on the field. And I believe, I believe we find ourselves in a sudden victory type of situation here. Yeah, what a game it's been for the Cougars and the Wolfpack out here. For this game to be sent out here to overtime. Two different two goal leads for the Cougars and they've watched them both slip away. And it's looking like we are playing two four, I believe it's two four minute sudden victory overtime periods. And right now, I mean, yeah, the battle for possession certainly working out. Here's Gauss, he might try to make it happen right away, but a little sloppy with the ball. As he gets rid of it, it goes out of bounds, but the Wolfpack should be able to... Oh, no, because they were the one facilitating, and it wasn't a shot. Chatham's going to pick things up. Here's Davenport. I mean, I kind of get it if you're Luke Gauss. I mean, he scored a goal like that already today. As this gets plucked out of the air by Pulmeni. Chatham with so many lethal weapons on offense. Pulmeni. Finding Gibney. Low. Nick Lagunovich. Plenty of time. Again, it's if nobody scores after four, we go to another one. But one goal seals the deal and wins the game. Lagunovich to Lagunovich. We saw that being a goal scoring connection before. Up top for Boyd. Gibney. Low. Now from Nick to JP Lagunovich as they're getting. Forced out by the perimeter. Westmore Central doing a great job keeping Chatham on the outside, and they'll reset with J.P. Lagunovich. Calling isolation. Going off to the side for Lowe. He's got nowhere to go. Camarada waits in front. Lowe, Gibney. Has all sorts of traffic clogged up in the crease. Dancing around Lowe from the pick from Boyd. Boyd is alone behind the net. He's got it. Now the defender blitzing in on him. That's Mike LaVista, who had 12 ground balls last year. Now some more toe tapping. Double team drawn. So give it from Gibney, from Pulmeni. Back behind low. Pops in front. One time shot. Score! The Chatham Cougars pick it up in overtime. A perfect feed in front. It's Shep Boyd with the game winning goal, and the Cougars win it. By a score of nine to eight. See it again, low, beautiful dish in front. And low with a five point day as the Chatham Cougars on the road pick up their third win of the season and for the first time in two, or really in three years, the Westmore Central Wolfpack have dropped three games in a row. But I mean, have you, could you have drawn three tougher opponents? If you're Westmore Central, Mountain Lakes, Gil St. Bernard's, and now Chatham, and lost them by a combined score of just five goals as the Cougars win this one by a score of 9-8. What an effort by Chatham. And be sure to follow us on Instagram for your Big State Sports Open Road Miles of Morristown Player of the Game. That'll wrap things up here. For Matt McGeera up top, your eye on the sky from Sarah Trupp, our producer, my name is Zach Smolin. Mind you, as always, to stay frosty. We'll see you next time as Chatham move to 3-1 and one on the season. Being contested over there on top of the Wolfpack logo, and it is plucked up by Luke Gauss, who will enter the zone, take a quick shot, and score! Well, so once again, Lovato hitting his mark. 
Forcing his man over to the outside of the crease and they force it right back up top. Over to the edge of the attacking zone. Little spin around Crisp. And he shoots again and scores. Or no, Davenport had it. But Chatham gonna be able to continue possession. Sharp defense from Bryce Camarada. He had 33 ground balls last year. As he gets hit from behind, here's an opportunity. Shot, score! Right through from Kyle. And he had taken over that X spot, sending it over to low. Now Chatham with two players down by X. Before the cut in front, Manita. Gibney waits, fires, and scores. There we go. I wanted to wait a second. Heath is a defensive, uh, defensive player this season. Now J.P. Lagunovich working inside, finds the lane, shoots high, score! J.P. Lagunovich things up. Now still won by Gauss. Gauss, I believe, is five for five this game in winning faceoffs. Gauss outside, up top, point blank shot, score! And a quick answer from Garrett Crisp. Play from the long stick defender there from the number 42. A good job by Chatham, and this should kill off the rest of this penalty here, though it's going to be tough here. Davenport has the ball down on the ground. Picks it right back up. Still fighting through. No! Oh, what a recovery from Crisp, who's able to scoop it up. They had a 3-1 lead at one point, but the Wolfpack have had the ball at the very least 65% of this game. Now another work ahead. Lachlan ties up. Did they thread it through? Oh, what a goal that time. Back for Lunovich. Pass goes a little wide. Boyd, up top, shot, top shelf, score! Punched in by Kyle, or rather from Cole Pullman. Again, still a tied contest. Ready a third of the way into the third quarter. Braces by one defender, low shot, Davenport trickles to score! A little too much English. Adam will pick it right back up. Now another shot, one time look, score! Oh, what a feed from Boyd. Boyd with his some suboptimal looks for the boys out there in white. Now they're gonna challenge Davenport. Oh, they seek went in down low and score. Gibney, Manita, twisting things around. That was actually part of me, that was Lagunovich. Now Boyd, sidearm look, what a shot blocked down. By no J.P. Lagunovich in right now. But they've got plenty of other sharpshooters out there on the turf now. Here's Lowe, excellent distributor. He's going to try to do it himself. He scores! Sharp that really defined this game for the Wolfpack. Starting to slip away a little bit. Ah, take two. Starting to slip away a little bit as here comes Lagunovich. Through the defenders, quick shot. Oh, what a stop by Janky! Although they might, they might get more prepared to play this game by watching this one than from warming up because there's been a master class so far from both of these sides on solid cross. Here's Lowe again, swoops around and scores! Back over for Nick, the number five, to JP. Lagunovich again, faking right, going left, finding Nick, sidearm shot, sling score! The brotherly connection, JP and so They funnel it over to the outside for Hedworth. Hedworth crashing in, trying to work himself around Irish, who slams it down. The ground ball is picked right back up by Finlay. Finlay in the middle, on his own, over to the right side. Shot up top, score! And what a as Westmore Central's gonna hang on. To possession for five seconds. Got it again, feed in front. A Little bit of a collision shot, score! It's good at triple zeros! On. It's a gift from Gibney, from Pulmeni. Back behind low, pops in front. One time shot, score! The Chatham Cougars pick it up in overtime, a perfect.